basically what we're doing is I showed you guys how to break down these problems. Right? We broke them down into linear factors, correct? And you guys could see that this could be broken down into x times x times x. That could be broken down into x times x. And that's just basically x. So what I was trying to show you, when you understand how to break down numbers, what you're looking for is what we call factoring out the greatest common factor. So you can use the box. The box is a great visual way. And I want you guys to understand the box, because I will be using that again. But what the great thing about the box is it gives you a visual understanding. Um, but re in reality, all we're simply doing is we are basically dividing out what we call the greatest common factor, the largest number and variable that evenly divides into all of those. So what you guys can see is all of these terms share a 5, and they all share an x. You can't say they all share an x squared because this one only has x, right? So that's the largest x to the power that divides into all of them. And 5 is the largest number that divides into all three of these. So if you divide it out of 5x, basically you're dividing out a 5x from each of these three terms, which would give you, so when you divide out a 5x, that leaves you with x squared plus 2x minus 3. So I was using that, I was using that method so you can start doing them in your heads, thinking about what is the largest common factor. Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. For instance, 